Welcome to our comprehensive video on Jodie Foster's age, children, husband, relationships, height, and filmography. Jodie Foster, a renowned American actress, has showcased her talent in numerous critically acclaimed films throughout her esteemed career. In this video, we delve into various aspects of her life, starting with her age and sharing interesting details about her personal life, including her husband, children, and relationships. We also explore Jodie Foster's exceptional height, highlighting how it has influenced her roles on the big screen. Furthermore, we provide an overview of her impressive filmography, discussing some of her most notable works. Join us on this journey to learn more about the incredible life and career of Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster Biography Alicia Christian Jodie Foster is an American actress and filmmaker. She is the recipient of numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards, three BAFTA Awards, and three Golden Globe Awards. She has also earned numerous honors such as the Cecil B. DeMille Award in 2013 and the Honorary Palm d'Or in 2021. Jodie Foster Things to Know Jodie Foster born, November 19, 1962, age 61 years, Los Angeles, California, United States. Jodie Foster Spouse, Alexandra Hedison M., 2014. Jodie Foster Children, Kit Bernard Foster, Charles Bernard Foster. Jodie Foster Parents, Lucius Fisher Foster III, Evelyn Ella Amond. Jodie Foster Siblings, Connie Foster, Cindy Foster Jones, Amy Foster, Buddy Foster. Jodie Foster Net Worth $100 million US Dollars. What is Jodie Foster's net worth? Jodie Foster is an actress, director, and producer who has a net worth of $100 million. Jodie Foster is a member of a very special group of performers. This special group is known as Child Stars Who Actually Grew Up To Be Healthy Adults D. A child star who managed to make it through adolescence without too many hiccups, she went on to graduate from Yale University and has enjoyed a very successful career, both as an actor and a director. By all accounts, her years at Yale were the most difficult. This was not because of her schedule or the academic work, but because multiple crazed fans had easy access to her on an open college campus. The most famous of these fans, John Hinckley, Jr., stalked her while she was a student and ultimately attempted to assassinate then-President Ronald Reagan in order to impress her. After finishing college, she was uncertain if she would continue acting, but she finally chose to continue. This was a smart decision on her part, as she has gone on to win two Academy Awards, two Golden Globes, a BAFTA, a SAG Award, and this past year, she was awarded the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the Golden Globes. The child star who earned her first Academy Award nomination when she was 13 has gone on to become one of Hollywood's most consistently bankable female stars. Some of her notable films include in The Accused, The Silence of the Lambs, and Nell, among other films. As a director, Foster's credits include the films A Little Man Tate, The Home for the Holidays, Did the Beaver, and A Money Monster, as well as episodes of the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. Early Life and Career Beginnings Jodie Foster was born as Alicia Christian Foster on November 19, 1962 in Los Angeles, California. She was the youngest child of Evelyn and Lucius, who had divorced before she was born. Foster is of Irish, English, and German ancestry and is a descendant of Mayflower passenger John Alden. She has three full siblings, Lucinda, Constance, and Lucius, as well as three half-brothers from her father's earlier marriage. A gifted child, Foster started to read at the age of three. At the same age, she began her career with an appearance in a copper tone television commercial. This led to further advertising appearances and then to a minor appearance on the sitcom Mayberry RFD in 1968. Foster went on to appear in more than 50 television shows over the subsequent years. Among her most notable credits were recurring roles on the sitcoms The Courtship of Eddie's Father and Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. On film, Foster made her debut in 1972's Napoleon and Samantha. She followed this with roles in A Kansas City Bomber, D. One Little Indian, D. Tom Sawyer, and Martin Scorsese's A Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. For her education, Foster went to the French-language preparatory school Lycée Français de Los Angeles, from which she graduated as valedictorian in 1980. Subsequently, she enrolled at Yale University with a major in African-American literature. She graduated magna cum laude in 1985. Jodie Foster, Relationships and Personal Life Jodie Foster is not shy about her sexuality. She is a lesbian and proud of it. She was with Sidney Bernard for a long time and they have two sons, Charles Charlie Foster and Christopher Kit Foster. They were together from 1993 to 2008. 
In 2014, Foster married actress and photographer Alexandra Hedison. She likes to keep her life private and avoids drama and gossip. She works hard on her career and herself. Jodie Foster Husband Foster shares her children with her former partner, Sidney Bernard, whom she split from in 2008. The actress married Alexandra Hedison in 2014. Jodie Foster's Family Jodie Foster has always been a fiercely private person when it comes to her family. She is the youngest of four siblings, with her mother, Evelyn Ella Amond, and her father, Lucius Fisher Foster III. Her parents divorced before she was three years old, and she was primarily raised by her mother. Foster is known for her dedication to keeping her family life out of the public eye to protect their privacy. She is a proud mother to two sons, Charles Bernard Foster, born in 1998, and Kit Bernard Foster, born in 2001. Jodie Foster's commitment to maintaining a work-life balance while excelling in her career is truly commendable. Jodie Foster Relationships In 1993, Foster began a relationship with producer Sidney Bernard, whom she met while filming a Summersby. The couple had two sons before separating in 2008. Subsequently, in 2014, Foster wed actress and photographer Alexandra Hedison. Jodie Foster Further Film Career In the early 2000s, Foster was in The Dangerous Lives of Alter Boys and a Panic Room. Following a brief appearance in the 2004 French film, A Very Long Engagement, she received acclaim for her performances in three thrillers, The Flight Plan, The Inside Man, and The Brave One. Subsequently, Foster was in the family adventure film Nims Island. Foster focused more on her directing career in the 2010s. She directed The Beaver, in which she also starred opposite Mel Gibson. Foster later directed the 2016 crime thriller A Money Monster, starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Her other acting credits during the decade include A Carnage, The Elysium, The Hotel Artemis, and The Mauritanian. In honor of her career, Foster received the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the 70th Golden Globe Awards in 2013.